it's starting to get pretty steep now. You can see the town behind me where we're staying. Good morning, everyone. I thought I'd bring you down to the sea today. We are just parked, if you can see, just over there. This is the most beautiful, beautiful spot. Just look at this. It feels like we're somewhere like America or Australia, definitely not Sicily. It feels very kind of like, almost like a moonscape, very rocky, a lot of red dirt and red sand everywhere. You can just hear the sound of the waves from the van and it is just so peaceful. Just that fresh air, fresh, fresh air. This morning we want to go and hike, like I want to say a mountain, it's not really a mountain, but it's called Monte Monaco and it's a really cool little hike to do in this area. We're right near a little town called San Vito La Capo, which is where the hike starts from. So we're gonna go and park the van somewhere safe where we can leave it for the day. And then fingers crossed, it doesn't get too hot, hopefully head out on a hike. Apparently it has, it's quite a steep hike, but it has amazing views out over the bay and over the west of the island. So Ben's looking at me like, is what, a steep hike? Never thought it was a steep hike. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. yeah. If you want good views, you've gotta go up, haven't you? We don't really wanna leave here without having kind of gone on a hike and explore some of these rocky outcrops, they're just epic, aren't they? So I made it to a nice little park up in San Vito La Capo. Um, went to do the hike, had a proper look at the map and it's actually like 10 and a half kilometers. So it's quite, it's quite a long hike and we've left it pretty late in the day to be hiking for like five hours. So we're gonna do the hike first thing tomorrow morning instead. And today we're gonna head to the beach. Yeah because the beach here is apparently pretty famous. It's normally really, really busy in the summer. And obviously right now it's pretty quiet. So it's a scorcher of a day today. And so we're gonna go see what the beach is like. And for the first time on this trip, or the first time ever, surfboards, surfboards. are coming out. Yeah. There so. looks like there might be small little like baby waves there. So gives so. us something to practice in. So it should be <laughs> interesting to see how I get on. A couple of wetsuits well, we, Ben, well. you used to surf when you were younger, didn't you? Obviously. Only a little, yeah, a little, and little then, bit. But then stopped, how long ago now? 15 years ago? And the rest. So A long time ago. A bit, so. a bit out of touch. So our beach trip has been cut short. So Ben had fun frolicking around in the waves, not a care in the world. Had a call from Rip Curl saying they wanted to sponsor me for boys' skates. <laughs> and River, I've now realised, as I mentioned before, when she was like nuzzling the biscuits and stuff. Thank you, River. Oh. So River started doing this thing that's a bit weird but really cute and she started like in this corner of the bed putting one of her toys and then like herding with her nose everything into the corner and it looks like she's nesting and i'm just wondering if it's a sign that she's coming on here or not does anybody know did anybody else's dog do this i think it might be a female dog thing because i vaguely remember my dad's dog missy doing it but she's yeah she's only started doing it today she just started like nuzzling stuff into the corner and it's so cute i think it's almost certainly on heat because every other bloody dog on the beach was just... And I've never seen dogs that interested in her. They would not leave her alone. They were sniffing her, they were running around her, they were barking at her. I was just completely covered in sand by the end of it. And um, yeah, it's just impossible to stay there. And there's a couple of stray dogs, they were all over her. Yeah, so... We were fighting them off, weren't we, River? It's like the old days. <laughs> it was a little bit hectic, so... We decided to come back to the van. Yeah, going to wash off and just. When we when we when we get back to the UK, we are getting River spayed, um, but this is going to be. She's just turned six months. It's about time 
that'll be her first season, so. Hello everyone, I just thought I'd come in here because we got back from the beach and I have just been in such a low mood all day and I don't know why. Um, it's nothing to do with anybody or anything. We are in a beautiful part of Sicily, in a beautiful quiet park up. There's a mountain in front of me, there's goats running around in front of me. The weather is beautiful. I've got literally nothing to complain about. Um, and I just feel really low. And yeah, just like I can't get, um, like I just can't get my brain in gear. I like, it's like I'm stuck in this kind of like feeling really irritable and really just like frustrated at little things for literally no reason. As far as back living in a house working, I would be like, oh, it was a shit day at work or, you know, oh, I just want to get outside or whatever. But when you actually have nothing to complain about and you still have a low day, it just makes you realize that there's literally nothing you can do about them. <laughs> Like sometimes it just happens. You sometimes just have a rough day and there's no rhyme or reason for it. And you shouldn't beat yourself up. Just having a low day where nothing just seems to be working. I tried to make crepes earlier and they just completely, all completely broke. <laughs> they literally just summed up my mental spirit today. They were just like, it's just a lot of like uncertainty going on with everything. And we're just kind of, constantly on the go and on the go and I think I just need to take a step back from it all. Going on the hike tomorrow, clearing our heads I think will be just exactly what we need. I feel a bit better now the heat of the day is over. Maybe it was to do with the heat making me grumpy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm just having just had one of those days unfortunately. The river's going mental and there's a guy herding sheep. That's amazing. Don't worry, River, you're not out of the job. This place is really nice. It's got kind of like, um, what am I, sort of like an Arab, sort of North African feel. Like all the houses are like really flat and everything. The beach is gorgeous sand, got the mountains right behind us. The sea's lovely, it's perfect. Okay everyone, it's the next day now and after a long sleep and a really chilled morning, I feel so much better than yesterday. I just needed some time to like sort my head out. I'm not really sure what it was. But I'm feeling much better now and we're gonna go on a hike, finally. We are gonna be hiking. You might have seen it in some of the videos from yesterday. This. It's a little peak called Monte Monaco and the road that we're staying on is actually part of the circular hike, which is always good. So we are gonna, yeah, get our walk on. It reminds me a little bit of the Rock of Gibraltar and we all know how that turned out <laughs> when we were uh, there last. Yeah. No running up today though, we're walking up today. Ready? Go on then. Let's go. What was that? Wow. I don't see that every day. No, you don't do. She was giving it beans. Um, River was good as gold. She was more like, what the hell? Well, kind of to the foot of Monte Monaco. It's starting to get pretty steep now. You can see the little town behind me where we're staying. And it probably won't come across on camera very well, but I'm pretty sure that's the last little climb up to the top. And then I think we can walk along here to get a good view and then down the other side. So this is a few degrees off having to have rope. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> Oh, we made it. The views here are amazing. This, this like, this like bridge is just so rugged and wild.
So we've made it down off the mountain now. It's got a little bit cooler, I'm in my jumper. And that was just such an amazing hike. Absolutely loved it, wasn't it? Yeah, it was brilliant. brilliant. Just what we needed. And I think what was even better then, because I think obviously one of the highlights of that hike is that you're on this promontory and you can see the sea all around you. But what was even more spectacular was just the ridge line. I think you can kind of see behind that ridge line of mountains that just goes back. That was the most impressive thing up there and the best view. Just so like dramatic. It's really cool. Now it's just a pretty yeah. boring walk. Now we're walking back on the main road. Back along the road. Do really yeah. good. It's done me the world of good. I feel a hundred times better, like back to myself almost. Yes. <laughs> All up there we went, through the ridge. Not up there, but back down and all the way around. And cool. Oh. Come on then, one, two, three, yep. Good job. Struggling to get up. Struggling to get back up now. Oh, what happens when you stop? Oh. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs>